Snoop Suge never really liked the East Coasters or, or labels or whatever. And I'm like, okay, Leor, well, yeah, we got a deal. We're going to have a deal. She goes to tell Leor no. Spits in Leor's face. Spits in his face. He oh. spit in his face. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. Hell no. So, Brian, in the meantime, Leor Cohen comes up there. Wow. And come up there and she'll say, okay. So, it's a bidding war going on for Snoop. For Def Jam. And so Def Jam, so at this time, she tells Leo a crazy number like 13 million. Well, 13 million if you want Snoop over there. Leo went back to his board because he wasn't owning Def Jam outright. Columbia was owning Def Jam at the time. Wow. Well, it was in partnership. And so Leo comes back. I drive him up there. And I remember me and him listening to DMX because he telling me how this dude going to save rap and all that. Me and Leo had a great relationship. Montel Jordan, he was mad at Montel at the time. Him and Warren G had just did things saving them, but now Jay Z and, and um, Red Man and Method Man and all of them starting to do okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. bubbling again. He comes and offers Shook $7 million. Tell Leo the most that I can get from Snoop is $7 million. Snoop, Shook never really liked the East Coast dudes or, or labels or whatever. And I'm like, okay, Leo, well, yeah, we got a deal. We're going to have a deal. She goes to tell Leor no. Spits in Leor's face. Spits in his face. He oh. spit in his face. Because of however the conversation went. He didn't Just appreciate it. He at the prison he at spits. At the prison. At, at uh, St. Louis Obispo. Wow. And so now I go back, go and tell Brian Turner. He said, get Brian up here. Brian Turner, the owner of priority, comes up there. This is when niggas get mad at me from the South. Remember, swear to God on my mama. He sat right there and said, you know, Reggie keep telling me you got some country motherfucker. That motherfucker just shot me $100,000 for Snoop being on the song. Because you know that song that Snoop got on? We pushed up on Brian and he got us $100,000. And P cut the check and sent it to us for $100,000. I was his general fund. I still remember that. Cause I was laughing. I said, "Let that nigga. He just banged on us. He ain't sending from a corporate. He just sending from general form, which is like his petty, petty account cash, you know, check." I said, "Okay, Pete, because they were winning. They were hitting. They were hitting ninety seven, ninety eight. Um, no limit was doing that thing." And so he go that country motherfucker. <laughs> he said, "You know that country motherfucker you always talking about? Build it to him, and you, you give me. I'm gonna do you a favor, um, Brian. You give me four and a half million dollars." And a 7% override, you can have Snoop for three albums. You can have his remaining three albums outright. Deal made. Four and a half million dollars, 7% override on Snoop's remaining. That's why he called that album The Last Meal. Because he was telling shit, this is the last time you're going to eat off of me. Wow. We ain't met with P&M since. Ever. So you tell That's me. how the deal went. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.